I get very frustrated when I'm on these videos because my dog collar is never straight. There you go. And I'm really sorry about the lighting. There's a lot of light from this way and not much from that way. Um, but it's not a film studio. What can you do? So today is Friday, but this Sunday is Aldersgate Sunday. Um, and that is a day that Methodists traditionally remember the life-changing moment that John Wesley had on Aldersgate, Aldersgate Street. So John Wesley was listening to someone reading um, from Martin Luther's preface to the Epistle to the Romans. Um, and an extract of that is this. Faith is a work of God in us, which makes us completely different people in heart, mind, senses, and all our powers. And then John Wesley recorded in his journal this. In the evening, I went very unwillingly to a society in Aldersgate Street, where one was reading Luther's preface to the epistle to the Romans, about a quarter before nine, while he was describing the change which God works in the heart through faith in Christ, I felt my heart strangely warmed. I felt I did trust in Christ, Christ alone for salvation, and an assurance was given me that he had taken away my sins, even mine, and saved me from the law of sin and death. So now, a little bit out of um, the normal routine, I'm going to share with you the covenant prayer. Now, we do a covenant service every year as Methodists, so I reserve the right to reuse this when we come to do that again. Um, but I'm going to read to you the covenant prayer, and then I'm going to read to you the words of a hymn, um, which I think are prayer. So we used this hymn in our singing group. Um, there are many wonderful hymns, but I particularly love this one. So first we're going to share the covenant prayer. So I invite you to experience this again if you've experienced it before. Um, if not, you can find it on um, the Methodist Church website. It's the covenant prayer. I am no longer my own, but yours. Your will, not mine, be done in all things. Wherever you may place me, in all that I do, and in all that I may endure. When there is work for me, when there is none. When I am troubled, and when I am at peace. Your will be done when I am valued and when I am disregarded, when I find fulfilment and when it is lacking, when I have all things and when I have nothing. I willingly offer all I have and am to serve you as and where you choose. Glorious and blessed God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, you are mine and I am yours. May it be so forever. Let this covenant now made on earth be fulfilled in heaven. Amen. And so building on that idea about our covenant prayer being a prayer of action and faithfulness, I'm going to share with you the words of a hymn called Christ Be Our Light by Bernadette Farrell. Try not to read it in a singing voice. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people, light for the world to see. Longing for peace, our world is troubled. Longing for hope, many despair. Your word alone has power to save us. Make us your living voice. Longing for food, many are hungry. Longing for water, many still thirst. Make us your bread, broken for others, 
until, shared until all are fed. Longing for shelter, many are homeless. Longing for warmth, many are cold. Make us your building, sheltering others. Walls made of living stone. Many the gifts, many the people. Many the hearts that yearn to belong. Let us be servants to one another, making your kingdom come. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gathered today. Amen. <laughs>